Oh, you wanted to add a bit more airflow to your computer? Well, these Zylance fans will probably do the job for you. Not only the RGB, they also have black and white versions available. The front of the boxes are pretty much exactly the same with the exception of one saying black and then one saying white edition. You can see the fan on there, it's drawn on, it's 120 millimeters and it's got an ARGB fan, which means it's a five volt ARGB connection on there. And it's also got a PWN connection to connect your fan up to the motherboard. The back of the boxes are identical again. It even tells you the cable length on here, which is good, which is 440 millimeters plus or minus 10 millimeters. And it's also got the specifications as well. If you want the specifications, we have them in the description just below. So inside the box, it's pretty simple. You get the fan. You also get four long screws, ideal for screwing into something like a water cooler, as well as four cake screws. Shame that the ones for the white fan are actually black. I would have preferred white screws to match with it. Uh, but those ones with the black case fan are actually black, so that's okay. Looking closer to the fan itself, it's got nine blades, are pretty straightforward. It spins nice and freely. On the reverse side, you can see the specifications if you need them there. Again, pretty straightforward, nothing really to write home about. The side is open-sided, which means if you're using clips, you can clip it onto the inside. It's not a filled-in area like you get on some fans. Otherwise, that's pretty much for the fan itself. It does have two cables on there. You have the four pin PWM connection. That's what you plug into your motherboard to power the fan. So it spins around. Uh, so your normal fan connection. And then you've also got the five volt ARGB edit as well. One thing I would have liked to see with these cables would be for them both to be daisy chainable so you could connect the other fan directly into it. Because for example, if you were to put three fans along the front of your case, it means you'd need three ARGB headers on your motherboard or three, or should I say, and three fan connections on your motherboard, um, where if it was, they were daisy chainable, then they could all fit into one connection. Uh, otherwise, you need to go out and buy a splitter or some sort of controller or adapter. Okay, so I've got my tachometer here to basically check to see how fast the fan is actually spinning. I know the motherboard generally tells you what it's spinning at, but sometimes we can find that's a little bit out. So if I run the test now, you can see here it's picking up, it's running at around about 700 RPM, which is about normal. And that's running at 33% speed roughly. So what you would call silent mode. Okay, so now I've set the fan speed at 50% and it's going at just under 1000 RPM, which is pretty good. And the actual noise coming from the fan is no more than when it was running at roughly 33%. So you're not going to notice the difference. Okay, so we've got the fan set at 100% speed now. So it's going flat out. And as you can see here, it's going about 1660 RPM. So that's actually around about 10% faster than what it says on the box, which is a good thing because it actually does actually shift more air the faster it goes. It does create a little bit more noise though. So just bear in mind if you've got a case full of these fans running flat out, and it's pretty much the same as most fans, to be honest with you, they are going to make a bit of noise. If this is the fan you're not looking for, or you just want to see another fan review, we've got plenty just over here. Just click that button right there.